Nuno. As you can see, I'm actually walking. I'm walking down my road. Way out there. Because you'll see that right there. That's the old farmhouse. Ah, I stayed busy today. But while I'm out here, I'm going to show you guys what I did this weekend before I show you what I did today. And trust me, I'm still pulling out thorns from today. Oh, shut up. Wind chimes. All right. As you can see, that, and then I got it on the other side of the trailer, this, I mowed this weekend, and then you'll see, as we get to it, you might not see me, but you can hear me, see the fence post, we've not put the fence up yet, because this is where we're going to put cows in, this, oh, got mowed just this right up in there but to show you something as I'm walking my day rode a four-wheeler picked up branches oh my god thorns 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 um I'm exhausted I just got out of a shower I mean I was filthy and I know I'm allergic to pine but I have got my shots in me so Excuse me, I'm getting a, ow, another thorn out of my finger, literally. See, here, oh, my other hand's worse. I was pulling them out of places I shouldn't be pulling them out of. But as you can see, here is all the, where I just showed you, this is part of the two-third, two-fourths, whatever, of the um, property. And I'm walking down to the other two and a half acres as you can see and if you see the field I'm gonna point out all the way to here where you see that b barn the field all the way to the trees as far as you can go to there and then behind that trailer is more of my property behind it with a pond and a stream <laughs> yeah and all this and all this we still got to clean out all that but um I will say the one thing about my chai and my hemp seeds that I've added into my milkshake not my milkshake Lord of heaven my um Google glob it has helped with the some of the brain fog I gotta switch hands that I'm always having. See all this? We've got to, this used to be cleaned out. When we first moved here, the previous tenants, the backyard was like this. And now it's, you know, being worked on. So today's mostly a walk. But yeah, the chai and the hemp seeds, I think it's mostly the hemp, even though chai is beneficial for us too seems to be helping um it's just easier to ride with a four-wheeler than walk all this this is five acres worth not including the pond acreage and all that <laughs> but um seems to be helping what well, long as I'm, I'm doing it twice a day that um that binder the powder um it's helping but i think it's causing more of a issue with herxine when I take it and I mean I'm still only having a bowel movement once or twice a week because I don't hardly eat let me show you something guys my sister-in-law used to live here when she was with her uncle or grandmother and grandfather that's who raised her and originally now it's fallen in and we're fixed to push it over that's the old farmhouse I will not go in it because there's mold but that is the old existing farmhouse and the back is collapsed. The well over here is collapsed in. My brother-in-law accidentally went in it. But all the way to those pretty little flowers is where my fence is. It goes all the way back. But I'm going to show you what I did today. Um, let's say, turn you around. See this? Okay, remember what that looks like. All that bushes and hedges. In the front of 
I'm going to stand where you originally, when we drove by down my road here, you can see the farmhouse. Okay? See this tree? I thought it, um, it's um, some kind of flowering, weeping. It's a weeping, flowering tree. I can't remember what it's called. My sister in law, let me know. And then you got the two pine trees here, right up there. But you can actually see the farmhouse. But this tree and all the pines had fallen and there's power lines that I got up in here up tied up and cut up and tied up onto the pine over here because it was dangling and there was some dragon but you couldn't even see this farmhouse at all when you pass by it except right over here let me look see here see right there there's my property line and then I go all the way back so I got more than really five acres five acres is we're right there and then that way and back or I'm sorry back but from where my hand stops and my fingers and this way is like another three acres so it's almost 10 acres I got but you cannot see this farmhouse and today got out here with my machete my gloves my four-wheeler my big old my four-wheeler trailer big old four-wheeler trailer I got the carries and I trimmed this so it would start growing this you couldn't even see this ground now I'm supposed to mow it but I couldn't get my mower started because obviously my brother-in-law my husband has tinkered with it and I can't get it cranked but you couldn't even see this ground could not see none of it and now it's ready to mow so I'll walk you but yeah you can actually see the ground um yeah my my son stepson got lucky with the with the wreck yeah after flipping six times but yeah see the flowers pretty little flowers that's where my property line stops then I gotta where is it at where's my finger that's a peach tree and then I got another one oh right there and then one uh, right here so I got peach trees everywhere but I'm walking you around the old farmhouse but the previous neighbors previous tenants they as you could tell see it's all falling in that was the kit um, bathroom and then the kitchen actually was right here and it's it's gone it's down on the ground and there's another well underground well we do have two wells on this property but yeah this is this junk the brush I mean that's how the backyard looked and we can't mow through here yet we were getting a bush hogger out here because all the what do you call them I don't know what kind of bushes they are or little branches they are and I'm sorry guys if I'm moving but I've got a lot of blackberry <laughs> bushes and I don't want to get any more thorns than I already got oh I can think what it's called Melissa Melissa it's like mint and you can put that in teas put it in your shakes check on it. it's called Melissa and um, it's actually very good for you very good for you I've also got plenty of um what do they call uh, oh my god watercress out here fresh garlic see you can't really see through there that's like how it was over there and then here's the well that my brother-in-law fell in with his something cat bobcat and you're gonna have to use me again because I'm like dodging thorns also you know daisies daisies what well, I noticed today while I was cleaning up pineapple daisies look for them go um, pineapple daisies in there when the flowers fall off it looks like a you know a pineapple you know upside down pineapple you can turn that those flower buds into um, flower 
and it's look for it. It's very beneficial for people with Lyme and our co-infections. And it's starting to rain. We have like less than about an hour or two, and then we're going to have a severe downpour. And then I've got, I don't know if you guys could see those, these trees all along, they are not, oh, what are they called, those thorn trees, um, locust trees, they're not locusts, they bloom flowers, but I have no earthly clue from up there to here, I have no clue what they are, no clue, no clue. But yeah, if you can look, right there, and there's the brush pile we're fixing to burn this weekend of everything that's we've collected way over there, all the way to there, or sorry, way out there, and then goes all the way past the cars to the curve down there, that's that property. One day I'll have to walk you guys to the pond and the stream down there but then we got a pond over here directly across from us which the frogs the spring frogs keep frogging and I'm gonna gig them everybody knows what I'm talking about oh, no but yeah that's been my day I'm exhausted I'm not gonna lie I feel beat up from the floor up but I feel good because I did something not prosperous. Um, oh Lord, I don't know what the word is. Um, I did something. Sorry, I'm trying to get in here because it's starting to rain. I did something beneficial. I did something today. I didn't get out of bed and go straight to a couch. So I mean, I did something good today. I did. Uh, I am worn out. I'm in severe pain. Um, I just now took pain pill, muscle relaxers, my supplements, because I missed my 11 o'clock, my 2 o'clock, and it is, fix to be 5, so I just now took my 5 o'clocks, so that'd be why I'm suffering right now. I'm going to get in here and do my my third Google Glob with the chai and the hemp, but yes, Tracy, um, look up chai seeds for Lyme disease. And hemp holes or shells or hemp oil for Lyme disease. Um, it's it's marijuana. Uh, uh, it's the shells. You got the seed in the center and then the husk or the hole on the outside. And that's what it is. And it's got very little THC. But it actually helps, if you look it up, for Lyme um, issues for the brain. Um, neurological Lyme. And it does help with the fogginess. The chai... I know that's omega-6. It's got good minerals and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. But, yeah, that powder, I can't, the powder binder. Yeah, I mean, it's doing good. I am still feel, on certain days, I feel, oh, my guts are back to normal. And then on other days, it's like, oh, my God, I'm so bloated. I just want to curl up and. <laughs> where's the gas x which i've had to um include gas x in it and it's not because um i'm gassy or anything but because i'm so sometimes aired up um or bloated even from just drinking my shake um i'll take gas x to help relieve it to help relieve the pressure but um yeah, other than that, um, or what's her name, Jen, um, yeah, I, I've never dealt with heartburn and belching or the warmy feeling up there, so, I mean, I've never had a heartburn. I mean, I know I have GERD, diverticulis, gastritis, but they never told me to take anything for heartburn, and they, because ne I've never had it. And I mean, I started having that once I started the bind, the powder binder. The um, guys, I'm bad with the then the powder. I have to take the doctor, and it's good to flush out cone, um, you know, uh, parasites and stuff. Um, I have not noticed anything past worm wise, but I have read up and noticed um, 
if you because I don't eat anything solid it's even my flaxseed and all that that's finely ground it up when I do it so but if I've read up that if you look um, pass thing um, pass in your bowel movements TMI here um, that looks like what are they called something seeds not fennel seeds uh, not poppy seeds oh what are they called they're on top of hamburger buns and stuff if you want them sesame seeds if you pass stuff that looks like sesame seeds solid sesame seeds that actually is parasites you are passing and I will say since I started taking that powder binder um, I'm always even though I'm going twice maybe twice a week I am because I, I barely eat once a week so I guess it takes two times to go in a week but um, I am noticing I am passing sesame seeds parasites as I have my bowel movement so I mean that's a good thing excuse me some this belching I can't stand and I'm not used to belching or any of that uh, but um, other than that I'm feeling okay I'm right now I'll, I'll be honest I'm just I'm sore from the floor up and my, my hands and they're they, like when I when I close them, which I'm gritting my teeth as I do this, and they're so swollen from the vines and the thorns. You know, when you get thorns in you, they do have certain kind of things that can infect, infect you. So, yeah, I'm worn out, but yet um, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to have had a, I've had a, quite a few couple days, minus Sunday. I think it was Sunday. But I know I'm going to pay for this tonight. But all I can do is say my prayers and send it up to him and hope I wake up tomorrow and feeling as good as I did today also boy I'm bruised sorry I didn't realize I was bruised down here I must have hit something um, but other than that God bless you guys and remember we only have one life so even if it's just for a moment you have a good time good moment be be pro praise be blessed be happy that you had a good moment um i know I, I know i'm gonna pay for all this um but hey i'm, I'm happy i had a good day I, i'm happy i've had a couple three three days so i mean i'm blessed and if that's all i can get for the rest of the month and i'm sick from here on i'm not gonna be angry i'm gonna be upset but I'm going to be okay because God granted me three, four days of absolutely not back to normal, but like Jen says, normal crappy self. And I could get through it and I could get things done. So my prayers go to everybody. God bless you all. Um, I'll tune in with you guys tomorrow. Other than that, hope. Hopefully you found your shimmy shake, your um, sprinkle, your sparkle, or your silver lining. Because if you don't, no one else will. And my, sp my silver lining was 70 degrees and sunshine before this dark, nasty stuff came in. And I got to do another blessed day of things I used to do. It, I mean, I didn't. I had to take a lot of breaks. But I pushed through. I fought through. I'm going to pay for it, but I'm grateful for my day. God bless, guys.